This piece titled I Am The Light 3, it's um, another of my um, interactive public art series or what I call public meeting. It's made from handmade paper. First of all, I made the paper in my studio and then I painted on it and I took it into the public and people worked with me to, to complete the work. Like people activated the work as I often say. It's made with children um, aged, or oh, it's one of a series, there are five sets like this, made with children aged between 2 and 18. And this very one was made by kids about 5 to 8 years old. The other one, I Am The Light 4, was made by children 9 to 12 years old. So um, I had questions that I asked them which they responded to. And the, the theme was about being the light in your society. That's why it's called I Am The Light. So I asked them questions about who they are in their, in their society. Are you the light? Are you a good person? Just to let them know that uh, the society requires them to be more than just people in a community. We all have responsibilities in, in places where we live. So it's one of the handmade uh, paper series. This one, um, Bright Room Illumin Illuminates, it's also one of my handmade paper series. I Am The Light 4 is a sister piece to I Am The Light 3 made with children from church with handmade paper that I produced in my studio. This work titled How To Frame And Please Six Women At Once is also one of my handmade paper series projects but this also has plastic bags and fabric. I've been working with bags since 2005. I make sculptures with them, but this time I decided to do two-dimensional work and combine them with another material. So it's like three of the materials that I used come together to make um, this project. Donut and egg is made from cigarette filter stubs. I have been working with cigarettes, uh, stopped cigarettes from my university days, which was around 2000, 2001, 2002, those times. So now it's developing into something else. I, I, have, I used to use the paper at the beginning. Now I actually use the filter as well. So this is donut and egg, just alluding to food. The two pieces here in this exhibition allude to food and food security. The other one, um, titled Anyanri Umune, translated to English, would mean communal meal. It talks about, um, or it alludes to a tradition in my community. When a bride is taken, the community of the bride gives food, bowls of fufu and soup to the groom's community. and, and when they go back home, that is the groom's community to take the wife back to their place, the people in that um, part of town eat this food from the other people. So it's like these two communities eating together food made in one place. They are now united as in-laws and they, they, they become sort of one people. So this is alluding to even in, in my nation or in my small community, when we have resources that people are supposed to share together are we really having them shared together or is it being taken by some people here we have um, water for washing hand which is typical of um, what happens in in most of africa in Igbo and in all of nigeria when we eat um, fufu we have to wash hand so this is like a meal like a table a dining table where the balls of food have been set for Nigerians or for Africans or for, you know, the world, everybody in the whole world, we're all human beings and we need security, we need food security to be looked after by people who are, who are over us, our leaders, or even in our, in our homes, our parents. So I, I'm asking the meal that, that is set for all of us, that has been given to all of us, are some people taking it without looking after the other people or how is it being taken, how, is it, how are these things being shared? This piece 
um, herdsmen bagged made between 2017 and 2019 is made from synthetic leather and again bags I often work with bags and uh, there's copper wire there's um, iron and little bits and pieces thread thread is one of my signature materials so it's um, referencing the issue of headsmen and killing that happens in Nigeria I am just uh, bothered very much bothered that nobody has apprehended this headsman and this situation hasn't stopped i can't really do much by myself but in my work i i just titled these headsmen bagged because i believe they need to be cornered they need to be bagged and this situation of some people from our society killing other people and nothing happens it should stop really this piece titled Unction of the Holy Spirit. It really encompasses most of my signature materials, the ropes, the thread, the fabric, the embroidery, and the cigarettes, uh, stubbed cigarette filter paper, again, and acrylic and pastel, like, it looks like everything is here. Unction of the Holy Spirit for me, because I believe in Christian spirituality, is something that I practice, and I believe the Holy Spirit is the action of God, it's the power that makes things happen and this work I was led to make this this piece and it's it's so deep for me that I haven't got all the details of it but I know it's it's something that I just I heard the the the, the way I felt to do it I just made it I don't quite understand it everything about it totally but I wanted to show that this material, all the materials that I use for my work, this is how they are represented. <laughs>